even though it is cloudy, it did rain, there's a lot of mud. How do we start the day? Like this. Bom dia! Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. My name is Didi Taihutu and this is... Jolie Taihutu. <laughs> Jolie Taihutu. And we need to speak a little bit louder because the DJI is oh, like yeah. for the rain. <laughs> but in today's video, two really nice people with Bitcoin hoodies, a pink one, a black one with colors, huddle, and we are going to talk about Bitcoin blockchain and live, of course, really cool Bitcoin charts, talking also about the TikTok indicator and about the news that I read this morning during my delicious cup of coffee when this one, this princess, was still sleeping and dreaming of, of what? Boys. Boys. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Again about boys. But in the news part, talking about PayPal, a crypto pro senator in the United States, talking about Guggenheim, talking about paid network and much more guys. So enjoy the complete video till the end because she is in it. Bam! This is not why we went to Portugal, Julie. Nope. It is raining. Yeah. It's cold. It's really cold. It's not our weather. No, it's not. Should we go to Mexico or mm. Costa Rica? Mm. Uh. No? No. No? No. Stay here? Yeah. And I do this... like Portugal, but the weather is just a little bit. It sucks. It's winter. Yeah. Ooh, it's really muddy over there. Okay, we need to walk on the less muddy tracks. I don't know what it is. The DJI again turning dark. You don't see me anymore. Maybe you see her a little bit. Maybe when we walk into the forest, then it will change. Let's see. It's just because the sun is on the back. You think? I think. Yeah, but you know, an iPhone does film also with the sun on the back. Yeah, okay. Like we, we they can't even see us. Now, oh, and there we are. We are visible again. Let's first start with the Bitcoin part, guys. The part, the TA part. We have Bombu with really cool charts. She doesn't know what I'm talking about, but I will show you now. Bam! The first chart, guys, is a 60 minute chart. 60 minute is one hour. I, I know, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I know that you know that. I'm just teasing you. But we are talking about a 60 minute chart. This one. Bam! Yeah, she was there. Um, on this chart, you can see this movement. Yes, we went to the top again of 38k and we are slightly pulling back. Maybe even pulling back to 37,200 US dollar. This is the support line, the blue support line you see going up. Then the question is, if we touch this support line, this beautiful blue line, will we then again go up to 40k or will we break it and then go all the way down to this huge support area around 32, 33k? Let's see, this is the one hour chart, but let's zoom out to a four hour chart so we can get a better picture of what is happening at the moment. Bam! Jolie, at this place, last yeah. time I was walking here mm -hmm. and I thought something passed by and then I didn't see it, but I was like, I really felt something was passed by and then I watched the video back and in the video you saw this one going like this and the other one straight down, like in this forest, at this place. I think there is something here, but I don't know what it is. How many times I walk here alone? <laughs> yeah, no. So now you know that there is somebody watching us. He's telling us, he's whispering if Bitcoin is going up or down. BAM! <laughs> oh, your dad is fucking crazy. really fucking crazy. But <laughs> let's take, <laughs> you know, <laughs> let's take a look at a four hour chart. So every candle on the next chart is four hours. This chart. Bam! On this chart, you can see beautifully what I just explained. We can see that we broke out of this flag pattern that I already saw, showed you many times. And when we broke out the flag pattern, we went up, we came down to retest the top line of this flag pattern. Then again, we went up, almost, almost like this. Ah, this one is better. Ah, let's switch. Whoa, whoa. You say that was, the that was the ghost again. And then when we touched the top of this flag line, we went up again and you can see this green line which is representing the pole length of the 
flag we broke out of is bringing us to 50k and we are moving around this green line and this green line now has been become this short-term trend line the question now is did we just create a double top you know you see these two half circles the two blue ones i drew on the chart there was a 38k top and another 38k top so are we going to have a double top that will push us downwards to 37 200 and maybe even back all the way to 32,000 us dollar or are we just going to huddle this beautiful short-term trend time all the way up to 40k 45k 50k what do you prefer 50k or 30k bitcoin 50. that was a stupid question bam let's take a look now at the bam bam tiktok chart yes we also have a tiktok indicator now not a tiktok social media thing with a k we have the tiktok with a c tiktok like a clock swings tiktok tick -tock. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. oh you know yeah okay so that tiktok indicator you can see on this chart bam on this chart you can see that we did two trades and to show you the difference between spot trading and leverage trading I show you how much difference there would be in profit if you spot trade or if you leverage trade. I think we need to turn around again because yeah, okay, now the light is good from that side. But on this TikTok chart, you can see, I think the, uh, I think the green is the spot trading and the yellow is the leverage trading. We traded with 300 US dollar. Normally spot is buying with 300 US dollar, then selling when you make profit. And when we use the leverage, you can see the yellow one. That one was with a leverage of 10. The first trade was a 2.6% profit. So with spot trading, we turned 300 US dollar in 307 US dollar. If we would have leveraged trade with a leverage of 10, that $300 would have turned into 370 US dollar. The second trade was along with 3.2% profit. If we would have spot traded, then we would have turned the 307 into 317 US dollar. If we would again have leveraged trade, we would have turned the 370 into 490 US dollar. So there's a huge difference between spot trading and leverage trading. You can see the profit with leverage trading is bigger, but the difference is that with leverage trading, you have the risk to lose your Bitcoins if the market moves the other way around. And with spot trading, you don't have the risk that you will lose the Bitcoin. So if you're not a very experienced trader, maybe you should start with spot trading. And yes, you can use the TikTok indicator to spot or leverage trade, but it is kind of built for spot trading and the bam bam indicator is kind of built for the leverage trading so that was all the info about this if you want to know more go to ddbam.com or click one of the links down below this video so you can fill in the form to sign up for the spot trading or the leverage trading so that's the bam or the tiktok or the bam or the tiktok or the bam or the tiktok or the bam or the tiktok daddy stop singing you're embarrassing me um <laughs> or just visit the discord server guys that was everything about the charts today uh, bam so that were the charts for today let's now jump into the news part the part where i talk to you about the news or where i talk where we talk about the news that i read this morning <laughs> something like this and let's jump into that part bam there was a small bam let's go there First news item, PayPal. PayPal is now starting, maybe we walk that side and it's better light. PayPal now starts to uh, onboard merchants and give the merchants the possibility to accept cryptocurrency. I think PayPal has like 26 million merchants online that can accept PayPal as a payment. And now they are going to add cryptocurrency this year as well, which is really bullish. Do you use PayPal? Uh, I use your PayPal yeah. <laughs> to buy stuff. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah. She is. Uh, yeah, she uses <laughs> my PayPal <laughs> to buy stuff. Um, so that one now, mm -hmm. that PayPal that is now making it possible that those companies that are accepting PayPal mm -hmm. that they can also accept like crypto, like Bitcoin or Litecoin or, for example, Ethereum, which of course is really cool because a lot of PayPal users um, use PayPal to buy stuff online. Mm -hmm. So now they can also use their crypto. That's really bullish, isn't it? Yeah. Cool news? Mm -hmm. So stop using my PayPal now. No. Yeah, there is not much on a PayPal because we don't have bank accounts anymore and all that stuff. So sometimes we need to use PayPal um, in need. And uh, yes, and that need is when she needs makeup that we can't pay with Bitcoin. Or 
something for the nails or clothes. Yeah, weird yeah. shit that you can't pay with Bitcoin yet. Bam! The next part, the next news item is about a senator. You know what a senator is? No. No, yeah, you don't need to know. It's in America. These are the people that ruin, that, that, that ruin. <laughs> I just said ruin. Ruin, oh. I mean rule, yeah. but kind of they are ruining uh, America, you know, it's not like yeah. they really rule something. But this senator is a very positive, crypto minded senator. And uh, she, the new President Biden, told her now you become part of this committee where you decide on how the financials of the future in America are going to be built. And she's really crypto minded, which of course is cool. So it's more like a spy that we as a crypto community put into the Senate in the United States so that they will accept Bitcoin all over the world. Yeah. Or is it not like, is that like daddy? Come That's on. That's like your fantasy. Yeah, that's my fantasy. Yes. <laughs> maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. We don't know. But it's very bullish new that more and more politicians are bullish on crypto. No, maybe I need to say are positive about crypto. Uh, because if they are positive, yeah, we will have a positive voice in the Senate or any other governmental entity that thinks that they still rule the world. <clears throat> Bam! Guys, next uh, news article was Ethereum. Ethereum has a new all-time high, around, uh, I think, what was it again? 1700 US dollar or something. And um, talking about, you know, you remember that you bought Ethereum? Yeah, in January. It was the beginning of this year, right? Eh? January, yeah. yeah? We bought it. I bought. How much did we buy for you? Uh, Do you remember? 200 euros. 200 euros. I think Ethereum at that point was around 600 dollar. Yeah. So that would have bought you, I think, 0 0.3, yeah, I think 0 0.33 Ethereum at that point for $200. How much would that now be uh, worth? Yeah, <laughs> calculation how much, lesson. How much is it now? Ethereum. Yeah. I think Ethereum is now around 1600 or 1700 US dollar. Okay. So, so, so then it would, wait. My math is not the best, but... You have 0 0.33 Ethereum. Yeah. Maybe when I put more light on your face like this. And Ethereum is 1600, so how much would it, that be now in total? Around 500? Yeah, around 550 US dollar. Mm -hmm. So how much did you invest again in the beginning of January? 200 dollar. Mm -hmm. And how much was it worth now? Uh, 550 Is that not just your best friend now? The best person out there? I turned $200 into $550 for you? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Um, keep it there. So you're going to huddle it? Yeah. I'm going to huddle, huddle it. it. Yeah. Hold on dear life. The thing you don't do with boyfriends, but what you do with crypto. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but that's uh, how fast it can go with Ethereum. Mm, it's like in a month. It's in a month. You you doubled your money in a month. And mm -hmm. that is why all, I always said, don't start to save money on a bank account or a savings account or all that stupid stuff. Just invest in cryptocurrency because now you doubled your savings in a month. And I think it will double again because I think Ethereum will go to $2,000 US dollar or maybe even $2,800 US dollar very soon. So then these $500 would turn into maybe even 700 or 800 US dollar, which is really cool because that's a lot of money for a 14 year old girl. 15. <laughs> almost 16. No, she's almost 16 guys. Almost she can be doing freely what she wants. <laughs> oh, she already, okay. She already can. She already can. She's saying, okay, uh, your dad is not that, I'm not that no, streng. No, no, you're not strict. Strict, yes. Yeah, you see, she speaks better English than me. Yeah. She didn't go to school and she speaks better than me, English than me and I went to school. That's why we unschool the kids. Bam! One disadvantage, guys, by the way, about Ethereum going this high is uh, that all these centralized exchanges and all these DeFi uh, applications, they have some problems now because the fees are so high that sometimes the value you have on that decentralized exchange or on that DeFi protocol um, are even lower than the fees. So you can't withdraw the amount that you did stake because the fees of getting your stakings out of there are higher than the stake itself, um, which is kind of a problem in my opinion. Uh, and hopefully it won't influence the DeFi industry too much. But I read also an article today, something about Flamingo. I think it's a no new DeFi protocol called Flamingo, like a pink Flamingo, like her uh, Bitcoin hoodie. Um, but this 
is solving this problem that we now have with Uniswap, uh, Sushi Swap, because the fees are like idiot high, like really high, man. I, I saw swapping fees of 40 to 75 US dollar. You know, if you want to swap one on a dollar and it costs you 40 to 75 US dollar, yeah, that's like not like really cool, you know? So <laughs> I think Flamingo is trying to solve this. I, I need to dig into this Flamingo project and maybe even invest a little bit in it if they really have the solution for this. But let's see. But that is the disadvantage of Ethereum at the moment. The fees are like shocking high. And that is why I think we need to solve this as a community. But the positive part is we can solve it because we are the most intelligent people in the world and we are creating an evolution in the monetary system, a revolution of the finance system, and we are going to make it and we are going to do it. And she will then in the future have a very beautiful life because you and I fought for our rights. We were the revolution. Bam! The next item is about Guggenheim. Yes, I think a week ago I made a video that I said, hey, the CIO of Guggenheim is saying, oh, Bitcoin, we will never hold 30K. I think we will drop to 20K. And in that video a week ago, I said, oh, no, we are not never, we will never be possible to hodl 30K. And I told you in that video, nah, this guy just wants to buy Bitcoin cheaper. And now what appears, these guys already have a Bitcoin price in their head of 400k. So yes, they wanted to drop the price by creating fear in the market. And that is now why he's now bombed by the community and social media, because that was not really cool what he was doing over there. Welcome, Mr. Guggenheim CEO to the Bitcoin community, where we will slaughter you if you do that kind of shit. That is shit you do in the banking world, not in the crypto world. Welcome to our lives. Bam! Can you make a really hard bam for Mr. Guggenheim? Bam! Oh, that was a lot of talking. Daddy, you talk really a lot. Julie? Yeah? Do you still remember cow? Cow? From Thailand. Yeah, from the Thailand. The big one or the small one? The big one. Yeah, we had a problem in Thailand. Eh? You know, the problem, I will be very honest, my English is really shitty. Eh? So there were two people in Thailand where we were like living together with for a couple of months. One of the guy was called Carl. Carl? You know, Carl the Moon, C-A-R-L, Carl the Moon was living with us. And the other guy was named Kyle, K-Y-L-E. So I always said, Kyle, Kyle, on, 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 like in his Dutch, Kyle. But then he was like, what is it now? Did you Kyle or is it now Kyle? So I turned Kyle into Kyle, the Thai way of version. Everybody needed to love, of course. But this guy, Kyle, this, uh, you know, the Thai one, the big one, he is also the CEO of Paid Network. And I'm working together with him in House of Dao. And I'm supporting him already since like three years ago in Master Ventures. This Paid Network, which I told you many times about, do you remember Remember that we were sitting every time there with this huge whiteboard, yeah, yeah. writing all this stuff on plans and ideas? Mm -hmm. Paid Network is one of those ideas that followed up out of those plans. And Paid Network, Kyle, did really good. You know, how much million do you think? The million. Million that the market cap of Paid Network is at the moment. And we started like a month or two ago. I'm just their advisor and their influencer. I'm not even part of the team at the moment, but maybe in the future, Kyle. Uh, wink, wink. But how much million do you think their market cap is? I would never say millions, but if you're saying millions, I would say like five or something. Like five or something. Yeah. So the market cap, just hold on, hold on me tight on my muscled arms. The market cap is already over 30 million US dollar. This token is already valued at $1.90. It started with like a few cents and it went to mm -hmm. 14 cents and to 40 cents. And now it's already $1.90. Your question now is how many tokens do you have that? Yeah. I can't disclose that. It's in an agreement. Why I can't talk about it. Why do I not have? You have them. Oh. Because I have them, you have them as well. Yeah, of but course. <laughs> if I was with you, I would say now to Carl, Carl, I'm so happy for you because you know we need to do a little bit promotion for Fate Network as I'm their advisor. Kyle, my daughter Julie wants to say something to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy for you and you're doing a really good job if that's yeah, it is that's, that's um, a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's really a lot. And and you know what the best part is? What? He deserves it. Yeah, he does. He's like the one of the most sweetest guy, but also like really, yeah, he just really, he always was so nice to us in Thailand. Yeah, always. He helped us with everything. And um, you know, the, the first time that we went into that, uh, mm, in the huge, in the huge with Utopia or something yeah. it was called. Uh, yeah, we really like Kyle 
and Carl really likes us, and we really support him for the person he is, not for the millions, but for the kind guy he is. And she also, of course, for the millions. No, Kyle, send true. a few million to my daughter, man. Come on, come on. buy her a speedboat, thirty million. Buy her a twenty k speedboat so she can just drive around Copangan chasing all the boys <laughs> no guys but very serious and um, Kyle is a really cool dude the team behind Paid Network is a really cool team because else I wouldn't be part of it and the project they are creating is awesome because they are decentralizing the complete legal world they are kicking the lawyers asses we are making all these agreements payable again cheap again and yes they also started in sort of incubator program it's called ignition and if you huddle 10,000 pay tokens you will always be able we need to turn like this bam for the light and if you huddle 10,000 pay tokens you will always be able to invest in all these startup projects that ignition will ignite and that will give you a lot of return on investment of your money or bitcoins whatever you hold so i would really look into pay network because they are really disrupting the whole legal system like the system is falling down and we are decentralizing this and paid network built on polkadot is providing these tools for the whole community for the whole world and yes also all the other projects they are working together with now like razor like fuel like bridge mutual and many more to come they are all flowing out out of the combination master ventures and paid network Please do your own research. And yes, I am shilling a good friend of mine because he built something really cool that I really like. And I wouldn't shill it if I didn't trust the person or the product they created. But please do a little bit of research into Paid Network because believe me, they are going to be massive. I think it will be one of the biggest growing projects of 2021. And yes, we will go to Thailand again to say to Kyle, eh. Happy, happy long time! <laughs> Something like that. Guys, that was everything for today. Or do you have anything to add, Julie? Uh, no. No? No. Okay, do you have still some savings that I need to invest or something? Or is you like your pocket empty? No, it's not. You still have? Oh, you did babysitting again? Yep. Okay, how much? 300. $300? So we need to invest that now in? Um, Discord or... Bitcoin could be good, Ethereum could be good, Litecoin still didn't grow really hard and you don't have Litecoin yet, you have Bitcoin and Ethereum. Maybe we will diversify a little bit of your portfolio into Litecoin. John Kim, if you're watching this video, John Kim, does my daughter need to buy Litecoin? Litecoin community, does my daughter need to buy $300 worth of Litecoin? Tell me what you want. That was everything for today guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs, thumbs up. up. She subscribe first. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Share the video to your friends and family. Hit the notification bell. And comment, and I'll respond and that as well. Yeah, because we love to respond yeah. to your comments. Thanks for watching, and always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in on life. Because it's very important to enjoy every single minute of the day, as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching, and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye. Bye.